Hello and welcome back. Um, today we're going to work on a issue that was raised by um, JS Black Belt. Um, we have the issue that if you have like a lot of pictures and you want to open like a people album with like 10k images then it just doesn't load. Um, it is also very slow for like um, huge albums with like 3000 pictures but um, we want to like increase general responsiveness um, we already did that with the uh, um, general date view the problem we now have is that we basically have to roll out this change that we did to the date view to every other view and i already worked on that and that's the wrong project <laughs> Um, um, bum, bum, bum. Data? No. Here we go, Levo Photos. Yes. Um, so the issue we are facing is that we want to roll it out and we have to do like a lot of changes. So I already started working on that. And so we already load non timestamped photos because like we want to display them in some views. For example, in the favorite view, you want to see your favorite photos, even if they don't have a timestamp, together with all the images that have a timestamp. Um, same goes for pu public images or hidden images and stuff like that. So we just have to add it to the view in general. Um, and then we have obviously the issue that if you have like a lot of um, non-timestamped photos, then we <laughs> have to load a while because like 50,000 images or so and then it just loads and loads and loads so we have to add subpagination for each album because like no timestamp is also an album um, so we have to do like a couple of changes to react pick um, we currently only get the visible group at the moment which is not what we want we want the vis visible group with all visible items and then we can like triangulate which page for which album we need to load and add to the items yes so that's the general task for today um, the first thing is quite easy i already researched that <laughs> and we only have to add like a parameter and i can show you what i what i did so i think that should make it obvious make it obvious that uh, what i um, uh, what i'm trying to accomplish so system ctl no, systemctl docker. What about a system? Ah, start docker. I see, I see. So we start up docker. And then it should start up the rest here. And I already can go to um, our date list view. So we have here our serializer class, pick and complete album date serializer. And the general idea is that we only return all albums um, but with no images attached to it and we only say you have so much images in these in, in this album and then we load it on demand if you actually see the group and with some math we um, triangulate how large a group should be based on the number of images uh, and then you can still scroll vertically how you can uh, uh, the same way that uh, Google Photos does it. Um, so we have here the order by date and we want to add um, null last Django I think something like that. Well, uh, Null last query, yes. So we have to um, do an F field like that and then have to do it like this. And then we can add the nulls last because if we now go to localhost, we currently um, load it first. So it loads up. Yeah, so it shows no timestamp at first. It's, it crashed, I don't know why. <laughs> I will fix this after that. But I already researched that and that's an easy fi fix. So. We do this, date descending null less true, and we have to import f. 
Um, so like this. Cool. And we don't have a date time, so we can remove this. Cool. Load. Um, I want to use, yes, I want to use black, thanks. I thought I already had this installed, but I guess not. Um, all right. Um, then we load again. And then it should work better, hopefully. Mm. Oh, it just doesn't do anything. All right, I think I will do a quick restart. See the Libre Photo Stalker. Pseudo Docker Compose down. Yes, please. All right. Um, let's check if I get any errors. Okay, I get a lot of errors <laughs> because I just closed the server. Um, yeah. So let's wait till it stops. Then I probably have to still. No, see. Now it worked. Amazing. Um, I can now just work like before. I don't know why it, it fi it's fixed, but I updated a lot of dependencies. So I guess that, that was the reason why. Um, yeah. Always fun, like random little bugs. But I mean, as a software developer who creates also a lot of bugs, I shouldn't complain. So let's drink some tea and wait till it starts up. And I get some errors. All right. Uh, get some errors here. Okay. So we forgot to add a clo closing bracket. Then I save again. Let's start up, please. I think the next thing will be react pick that we actually only show the visible items and then we can do some math to load the right page. All right, so very cool, front end loaded. I can now reload. Okay, so it still just keeps loading. Internal server error, 500. Okay, show me the error. Um, Daytime is not if, but oh, god damn it. I just said that I don't use actually daytime and now I do fun. Import uh, daytime. It just w was lying, I guess. Um, all right, so worker should be reloaded now. And we just have to do a Short ref refresh. All right, so we, we saw it for like a second and then it complained. We, we got another error, like a page error. Fun. Um, why do you complain about that? So I already added um, at the page parameter, but it doesn't want to actually work on that. Mm. All right, so <laughs> I just stopped in the middle of um, already adding some pagination to the general queries in the sub elements, which was also an uh, issue I had to solve. And um, I guess I didn't finish that. So album date object has no attribute books. Yeah, I just copied something and I didn't actually finished that. So um, I think it's photos. 
Uh, all right, save. Photos. Now I want to go to album date. Yes, it's photos. All right, awesome. Then I go back to serializer. Then it should work, I guess. Cool. So we reload it again. F5. And we got another error. All right, we got an um, Zot error. So he needs a string and date and a location and items <laughs> and ID. Uh, all right. So let's check it out. So first of all, like the general structures ripe, like we can see. So um, that look that looks good. Um, in general, it looks good. Like, why is he complaining? I don't get it. Album action TX 556. Album action TX 556. All right. So we lock the error. All right. So. I guess something was wrong when we tried to pass the response. And I have to check again. Um, page one. So we get an ID, we get a date, we get a location, we get a number of items, and we get an incomplete. But like items is missing. What? Like why is items missing? That's not good. <laughs> Oh, oh no, no, like, okay, I don't get it. Uh, so, yeah, okay. Um. Yeah, obviously it, he's complaining about that, like, the items are missing. Why are the items missing? I didn't say that I the items should be missing. <laughs> Uh, what the hell? Serializer.zrp. So we have our serializer. Get items. So it's in method field. And it should have this. It should just like add that to it. Um, that could be also an issue with like um, the reloading of the worker because um, sometimes what happens is that only some classes get reloaded like everything that is like native Django basically um, works but like especially like the Serpy thing it's like a bit hit or miss um, all right, so let's reload that. Hey, awesome. I killed it again. So, so the console still crashes. Fun. So, fish, cd, libre photo, stalker, and then we do a startup again. All right. So, I think I'm going to work like for two hours today on this issue. It's like a larger issue. Like it has a lot of sub problems and um, so it takes a while to implement it. I mean, I worked on all the parts, so I don't actually have to think too much about what I want to do, but I still have to Google a lot. And sometimes you just get stuck on stupid stuff. Um, for example, that get items isn't a thing. Fun. Um, um, Alright. Let's see if this works. Uh, 
I think I'm going to also fix a couple of things with React Pick while we're at it. Like, I usually don't work a lot on it because it's a different package and I, I think I actually still have to clone it, right? Yeah, I only have like Libre Photos in the front end and Docker. All right, fun. So, but first let's go into the container. All right, we still get an error. Oh man. So we have all visible groups. The visible groups have like items and we actually only want to see like visible items. So he sees six groups, which is like a bit much, but like it also loads a buffer, like something a bit above that and below that. So I think that's um, valid. But something is off with our page one thing. So, all right, so we actually have an item now. I don't get why he is complaining at all. Um, all right, so he complains about the invalid type. He expected string received undefined, 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 undefined. Hmm. So maybe he wants it all like in a nice little package. I don't know. Don't get it. Then it crashes. All right, let's look into uh, Redux and then I want to pause it. Like, what the hell? It changed. No! Where's my pause button? Can I just click here? Yes. Holy shit. Oh no. No, no, no. Oh no. Yeah, I also have to like reduce like <laughs> this worker stuff. It's like so annoying. All right, let's just do it again. Like reload, click on Redux. And then I should have like fetch album retrieve raw, please. All right, I, I think I will just check the sort error thing, 556. Five, um, so he expects an incomp incomplete date group. So and we pass the response and then it crashes. Okay. So from my point of view it is looking good but he's complaining so okay save that and then I see the zot error and the actual thing that was thrown into it. So we have here our results. And um, it looks fine. But I think the issue is that it's somehow not called data anymore, but response. And I don't know why. Like, I can't remember changing it. But I guess I did. Um, let's go here to album day list view. So that's what we changed. Here's our thing. We had our pick incomplete date serializer. Serializer.zerpy. Okay, so 
the only issue we currently have is that we have to change it to a result instead of a data dot results like that's weird and now it works amazing so strange strange error um, but it now basically works so we can scroll through it it loads only like the visible groups and um, yeah the th the problem is that if we like here at the bottom now um, then we get uh, like all groups no timestamp and then it just keeps loading obviously so that part at the bottom here is not very responsive and that's where we need some sub thingy yeah so now it load loaded and um, yeah and it only loaded like the first 10 that's also very important because like we added now pages so we didn't load like everything and li then obviously the vertical thing um, switched all right so that's very cool we now only need to um, set some well I think useful so we had here always a page size of 100 I think that it's in, gen in general like a good idea that we just keep that and um, so I will add this to the serializer 100 is the default um, th th this is like it, it should load just fine and fast and stuff we now only have to like um, show all the visible groups and then only re re replace the items that were um, like updated all right so I think that's the thing we can do so to go back to our issue here we actually now change the order we have now subpagination of an album date from the back end um, we now only have to do some work like we need to replace like only the items and not the whole group so we have to do that now I hope that like it works with Redux that he understands that he, get, he got updated but we will see um, so we now have our date 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 photos group and um, so we already program as well I programmed um, already something that we can use for that so this is all fine like we only want to update this group but it now has to understand like what he wants to update and um, it's like quite easy we do like page then page so that's new in the payload should work fine um, I then should go to um, well where is it where are you uh, layouts no locals no reduces so we go to photos reduces and now go to album date 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 Album date date album. <laughs> oh man, I don't find anything here. All right, here we go. So we currently just replace this one group in the Redux store. So
that's not what we will actually want to do. We want to get the group, so that's correct. Um, new photos group by date. So we have like all groups here and then we get the index and we set it to false and then we do this and now we basically have to change that up with um, where is it here fetch no timestamp so let's just get this um, then we go here and like plop it into here all right so we have like our fetch page so this is important I'm going to put this up here that's like not fetch page but just page because like obviously it's a fetch page page so that works so um, we don't need the photos count that's not important because like we already have all the temp elements in the thing so we don't need that we also don't need to add the temp element list, list to a flat list we already did that so what we now want is um, we want to find the actual index okay we got this and um, then we just replace it here but that's not what we want like var um, group to change group to change all right, uh, no, not like that, like this. All right, so we now have a group to change. And um, what we're now, now doing is that we um, take all the items of group to change dot items. And then we have here our date photo group. And we only have obviously here um, items to replace. We only have here the items that we actually want to update. And Then we have to, so we have our page first of all, and we have here a page, and like we have our current it items. And um, we have our items to replace. Right, then we have our group here, um, group to change. Uh, dot items and we say, hey, that these are like the new items and we will call it like that items to replace also sounds like bad i say um, loaded items all right okay so now we have our group here we have our new items like new like updated items. I mean, it's hard to keep them all um, differently. So now we have to um, yeah, 
so we want a new flat group that's correct and we want to add our new photos grouped by date so these are just all items we got and then we want to um, update this one with um, group to change so and I think this should update now so current photos doesn't exist um, that's obviously items just all right okay awesome um, that's great this is basically all we have to do now um, the other thing like when we load it is now different um, I think it will now go probably into like an endless loop but not sure about that yet um, let's check reload yes endless loop all right cannot read properties of undefined oh no <laughs> what happened here um okay Ah, all right, that was the issue. It's always a typo, it's always a typo. All right, no, uh, it's, it's still loaded everything. And it also updates our item which is great, um, cool. So the thing that should happen like at the bottom now is that we only load the first 10 and then we don't do anything. Yeah, so here's our now timestamp. Okay, my computer's basically exploding now. We're now looking at network. So do you now only load the first page or are you like exploding? So we're definitely loading more first pages now. No, it, it still loads like everything. That's weird because we already told it to only load the first 10. Uh, Okay, that's weird. Uh, all right. But why? <laughs> but why though? Okay, now we got like our payload. Page one, yes. Now please add the preview. No, it, it's still loaded like everything. Yeah, weird. Okay. Um. Yeah, that's all. That was only like the slow one. Uh, we don't. Yeah. So that's the large thing okay and now it loaded okay it loaded 100 not 1000 but loaded 100 so if we now go down here so okay so now we only have like um basically nothing because now we want to go to the next page but we don't like have properly implemented it yet and if we go probably click on something like it then it will just load forever because it doesn't know what it is but it's basically exactly what we want. So the only thing that I found confusing that it did load so long, because like you only have to load now 100 images, like why are you complaining? Well, but uh, yeah, okay, whatever. 
Um, still fine, I guess. If I now go to console, it should now 45. If we now go to no timestamp, we can probably still check that here. So we have here the, like the, these, this parameter false that is something we won't need in the future. But here like it's all temp. So but the first one is real data. Awesome. So now we only have to know when to load the next page. Um, so we get the visible groups here. So I already talked about that. And um, if we now go down here, we will get visible groups. And we will probably will only get one, like no timestamp. And we will get like an array with all the items, which I know it's, it's the correct group, but um, <laughs> too many items. Um, it's not uh, only all visible items. So we have to implement that, which shouldn't be that hard because I already worked on this a lot. Um, so to work on React Pig, we have to do um, a git clone, obviously. And it's a fork of a different dependency that wasn't maintained anymore. Um, and I wanted to add new features, but most people don't know about this. I haven't like even published something like it on NPM because like, I don't know how it works. I think once it's somewhat complete, I can create a version of it because like, this timeline component took a lot of engineering and somebody else should use it, right? Like, uh, th that's the general idea of open source that you only have to do annoying things once. So let's up the brightness a bit. All right, awesome. Um, very, very cool. So we want to clone this one. So this works different, differently than our regular um, project. It doesn't have a Docker container. You only have to install all the dependencies manually. Uh, so React Pick. And um, if I recall it right, we use yarn in that. But I have a readme because I always forget. Uh, getting started. So first of all, I have to install Yarn. I don't think I did this already. Okay, you get a sudo man. All right, so we added that one. Now we do a Yarn install. And now it's going to fetch all the packages and um, then we build it. And then it continuous, continuously builds React Pick, and we have like an example website where we can also test that. And um, I think that's all we need um, to actually see if something gets, that we only get visible groups and uh, it's items and not all items. So yeah. Downloads now, like always, half the internet. Very important, very important. Uh, yeah. Let's hope that it works because there were like um, two big open source packages in NPM that were um, abandoned by its creator. He was like mad that he didn't get paid. Maybe, or you, we don't really know. Uh, he created Faker.js and um, color.js and like it's colored so that's critical um, and uh, if you didn't have like a certain version 
and sa uh, said, okay, just install the latest version, then it would crash. Um, but I think it already got fixed. Yeah. I mean, like working on open source is like a bit, mm, yeah, it, it's different than working um, on something commercial. It, it just is. And now it lags out. That's fun. All right, it's done. Awesome. And um, yeah, if you want to monetize like open source work, you actually have to work on monetizing it. Like you can't um, just depend on like goodwill of people. You have to make it obvious how to contribute to the project and you have to like to like force people nicely to actually give you money, um, which is hard. I get that, but like just throwing your hands in the air and say, I will take everything down with me is like a bit childish. All right, so that worked, awesome. And now I do a yarn start. Okay, so now it will continuously build. I will then take another console, go to react pick, go to example, do a yarn install. And then it should work. Mm. You can also set up like the import of the front end somehow that it also builds continuously for our front end. But I never figured that out and I don't think that it's always necessary. I like that it's like a bit separated from the rest of the project. Um, yes, please another port. Because like separation is important and if you like m put them too close together then, then they will merge over time by, by themselves. Because like people get like a bit um, Come on, a bit lazy and then it will just not work. Okay, so currently my computer completely lags out, which is fun. I don't know why. So yeah, we, we can scroll through all these, these things. And if we now go to example, source, components, uh, no, index.js, then we will see, okay, we currently lose, uh, use like the um, regular pick component and I have like a couple of different components here and then you can just test them and um, yeah that's the general idea mm. all right um, I will now just use this one And I think I only have to like comment that in and the other thing out. Uh, I want this. Cool. very strange thing that keeps happening with my mic is that it gets louder over time which I don't get at all like because currently it's probably way too loud but I don't know how to fix that I just have to talk a bit a bit um, more quietly it's now an ASMR stream mm. all right um, should now work. Oh no, it's just now <laughs> an empty page. Um, let's comment that in. And we don't want the incomplete pig, we want incomplete grouped pig.
All right. And that should now work. If we now go to, I mean, why is it behaving like that? Like, I mean, if I go there, it, it doesn't even um, over steer. So I will just make it a bit, a bit less and then it should work. Yeah, I don't get it. Um, yeah, okay, 10 decibels, like half as loud as before. Okay, I can do, go a bit higher. Anyway, um, so now we have this and we have our array here. And um, I don't know if these are the visible groups. I will now add a small debug function. Let's go to incomplete grouped pig. My computer is a bit dying, so I think I'm going to shut down um, Libre Photos for now. Please stop. Yes. I think I will definitely not get to um, actually implement everything because it's just way, way too much stuff. But I think we can now finish um, subpaginating for albums. I think this is realistic. Maybe we can also like migrate favorites or public photos because this should be easy too. It's only like one parameter more and uh, it will be way more performant. And now my computer like completely froze. Like, oh my God. But like Linux is way more stable, right? I mean, it's not even doing anything. It's just like saying like, nah, man, not today. I don't want to work. Yeah, at least I got some tea. So click, please kill it. Anyway. I even know like probably which line to change. It's. Not that complicated. Come on. Oh, man. <sighs> Why? It's not reacting at all anymore. I hate this. Maybe it's also like an issue with um, Visual Studio Code because like sometimes it just hogs way too much RAM. Like I don't know why. Probably some IntelliSense bug. But I don't know, I can't reproduce it. Oh man, that's so bad. Oh no, it, it moved again, amazing. Please stop. Mm, why? <sighs> I think like memory management is like way be better handled on Windows than on Linux because like, yes, you get crashes and stuff like that, but you don't get this behavior like 
This is such bullshit, man. I mean, I don't even have like a slow SSD. He, he could just put it somewhere on the hard drive, but I think you have to um, act. Yeah, see, close. Hate it, hate it. So if I now reload, it's probably all dead, yes. Cool, so let's restart. It should be way more aggressive with like restarting windows. And um, yeah, I please close everything else. Let's open fish. Let's go to react pick. Yarn start. Then I need a new console. Fish. CD react. CD example. And yarn start. So what we want to change to make up for a bit of lost time here in source, we have the function calc renderable, renderable items. And um, we don't want to change like everything. We want only want to change this function here. So um, these are the updated groups. And we wa now want like a new bunch of groups and that's only the groups with like the visible items because it will calculate like for the whole group like the offsets and stuff and that's correct um, but we want <laughs> to know which items are visible and which are not and um, to actually do that we are going to do like const with items with only visible items. So that's very long. And then we do array of group and then for each yes. No, I want to items for each. Yes, that's exactly the same logic as down here. Then we want to return. Um, and else we do a push. All right, and then we We yes, we use this and this. Awesome, amazing, man! I, I really love GitHub Copilot. <laughs> All right, and then we use here array group of with only visible items. And like in general, we just return the array of groups because it could like have more ramifications and um, yeah but, but this should be fine all right so let's see if this works reload we only have this then please open this up we have eight things and we have like here incomplete images and now we probably just have to print out in our function group not loaded, yes. But I also want to, um, how's it called? Updatable pick. <sighs> it's a function we can add. Um, I probably, I probably, probably, um, did update items, visible items, and then we have update groups. So that's what we want. And then we go here and we do this. And um, it's obviously like this and this 
And what we're going to do is obviously console.log. Visible groups. Awesome. Very cool. And um, let's reload. So we see we only have like four groups here. And if we go here, we have four items. I think if I go here in group four, I have zero items because I re <laughs> I load them in. Uh, I think, God damn it. Um, harder to test than I thought it would be. <laughs> uh, so four items. So let's see if we got more items than that. I think we have like a couple of like non-visible dead items, but I'm not sure. But I'm not sure. So let's see. No, it's only four. Okay. All right. I can't really test it because like <laughs> it's too small. So I think in order to like check if this works, we have to extend our JSONs and um, we can do this here. We will just add more items, I think. So okay. All right. So we also have like a couple of empty groups here and I think they should also be visible, but I don't know. Um, I only want to check for now if we get only the visible items. Encounter children with the same key and I'm complaining now. That's not what I'm caring about. Please give me my... Oh, man. Just complaining. A lot. Okay, please. Can I ignore this for now? So I have now here a lot of images. Oh man, all right. Um, Let's um, remove that. We have like, uh, or we should have um, these groups with empty objects in it. I don't know why it doesn't work, but it should. This got changes. Yes. So we should now here get like um, a bunch of empty items on these items. But maybe I haven't implemented that here to do fake loading of images, adding a delay. All right, so. Uh, all right, so I probably have to also add that. If I now reload, it doesn't show these groups. It just has like a weird amount of white space because like he wanted to render something, but he didn't actually found anything. So. I really can't like get that he only 
Right, that's a couple of them. Okay, so I will now m add the temp images. I think I already added that as a. I don't know. Let's go to not loaded. Um, what did I add the function I always use? Yes, add te add temp elements to groups. All right. So I can use this one. Um, so. I want to all right uh const oh no um image data grouped with temp yes not really what I want. <laughs> but uh, also fun. So um, we got um, this statement incomplete and now we just have to look for it. So if g dot incomplete, then we are going to um, get like a new const items equals um, how was it called at temp elements to group Yes, so he just uh, so we just add like here in general um, these things, but we only want to do it for like the single group. Okay, let's do it like this. And then we push all these items. And then we just return our G. All right. Group is not defined. Okay, it's G. And here's also G, and this is also a G. And then we have our const image state thing with temp elements. All right. Now, if we scroll down, we now should have um, less temp elements. So we have the 5th October and we have the 4th October. And if we now go to group not loaded, we have four 15 here and 22 there. So 15 here, 20 there. Now go down, further down, we have 22. 22. Oh no, it didn't work. Come on. But it has to. 22. Right, I think I should just do in like a, the obvious thing. Okay, 22. Um, I should just do it like more obviously. So we have like, 
and that's like also the case we're trying to solve. Um, we have like 2,000 elements now. All right, so let's go down here. Okay, it's 2,000 items. Oh man, that's not good, that's not good, that's not good, that's not good. Mm. <laughs> that's way harder than I thought it would be to get only the visible items. So let's go back to cal cal renderable, renderable item. I think I have to log a bit of values. So let's do a translate Y and uh, um, yeah, I think this should work and then the console.log min translate Y plus height or something like this. It's not defined. Oh yeah, true. It's only the i dot. All ah, right, so obvious mistake. Um, these are saved in the t style tag. So we just had undefined, and that's obviously then true. Okay, let's remove this. Save. Reload. Twelve elements. Fifteen elements. All right, so we only get three elements. 2nd October, but we have 2,000 items. If we now go down here, we also now only get smaller number of items. Awesome! So this works. Woo! Okay, so what we now have to do is um, obviously push all of, all of that. Um, we can now uh, stop that and we can also stop this one and then we also do a git at all git commit git commit um, only show visible items of groups of visible groups visible groups all right Maybe you could like do like some performance improvements, um, but uh, yeah, that's I think all we can could do. So I mean, I, I also couldn't do an another yarn build, but I think it should look the same. React pick reload. Okay, no changes. Awesome. Then we do a git kit git push kit push. Mm -hmm. All right, so now we pushed it, and um, now we come to a fun part. Um, so npm is a bit broken, so we have to manually change the package.log, which is fun. Um, don't ask me why, but you have to do it. So we then have to select the commit we want to actually pull. Uh, let's do this. G React pick, here we go. So now F5. Very cool. So this is pushed. 
Um, no, I don't want to click on it. I just want to copy the commit. All right, so we now changed the version. Now we have to do it, I think, only here, right? Do we also have to change it? No, we don't have to change it there. So we selected our commit. Now we can look again. Yeah, so it's only here. Okay. I thought it w was in more places than that. But um, yeah, so now you know how to work with React Pick. We have like a, an, a, an example um, web page and then you can just change stuff. And then we have to update it in the front end to actually apply it. Mm. I also wanted to change a couple of different things, but um, in React Pick, <laughs> but not today, I guess, uh, because I want to get something done. Libre photos front end, yes. And then git at uh, no, uh, see, like I completely forgot what I wanted to do. Uh, I want to go to Libre Photos Docker, and then I want to do a sudo docker compose down because I don't think we actually are down yet. All right. And then I want to do a sudo docker compose up in the development environment. Awesome. Okay. Mm. Network not found. What the hell? Docker crashed. Lol. No. What is happening? Okay. I'm just going to let it stop for now and I will be back shortly. Okay, um, I'm back. I think it should <laughs> hopefully now work. What is happening, man? Like, what? <sighs> I hate this.
Ah, all right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, I had to always like remove something. Uh, I already did this. Come on. Um, recreate network. Docker compose. Like it was startup command. I, I know that. Uh, force recreate. Here we go. So sometimes it will try to use a network that doesn't exist anymore. I don't know why, but adding this parameter, if you recall this right, should just magically work. All right, so um, let's get back into the action. We want now to actually use our subpagination. We say, okay, one page is like 100 elements. And um, now we have to obviously change the logic on how we load the stuff. Um, what the heck? Okay, just weird stuff. Um, so if we go now to, I'm, I'm still like too loud. La. Very fun. Um, so to actually combat that, uh, we to combat that, like what the hell? If, if you talk so much, <laughs> you start using phrases without thinking about them. Um, we want now to use timestamp photos because like obviously we have like here a very interesting um, function. So this should theoretically work. So we have our visible groups and then we try to find the first element that's a temp element. And um, so the visible I images are like in group.items. That's correct. And then we take um, the first element, then we calculate the page, and then we do this. If group incomplete, that true, then we do this. All right, should work, maybe. <laughs> so let's reload. Okay, this works. Very cool. So we can basically also just go to network and see if we see a page two <laughs> or if we just loading page one. So here we go. Now it still loads all the pages. Do I use get album already? Yes. So we load the first page. That is correct. And it was also only 100 images. So if I go now down here, it should. Come on, 100 images are too many images. Okay, it only does it once. I think because I reset, uh, um, I think because this here is not um, finished. All right. Um, let's check this out. <laughs> I think if we just remove this, then it works, maybe. Hmm. 
let's reload or it will crash <laughs> okay computer is loading I don't get any thing from back from the back end What's happening, man? <laughs> Come on. Okay, I will close this for now. Something weird happened. And um, let's do this again. Localhost. Okay, this loaded just fine. Now we're going to open up the network thing. This also works. We load a new page, we load a new page. And it's always like small albums. And um, so now it should take a bit longer. But why? It uh, doesn't really make sense to be honest. Because like it's still the same query, like load this album but paginage with um, the photo thingies should be fine. Okay, so it still takes so long to respond. Why? Maybe I'm logging too much, I don't know. So we definitely have no visible groups. Um, But nothing happens. That's super weird. Because like visible groups is definitely running. <laughs> because like I definitely lock this all the time. Visible groups, visible group, visible group. So why isn't that working? This is weird. Compiling? Maybe that's the reason why. I mean, we should see like more requests, but I don't see any requests and that's the weird part. Oh, come on. Local hosts. Um, this works fine. Now, if we go down here. Or maybe I um, did something wrong. Fetch album date galleries. I don't know. Page, page, response data. It's still pending. What the heck?
this is super weird like why does it run now slower than before So especially like the front end is still like responsive. But like I can't click on this. That's that's super annoying. Can I maybe like copy it? Uh, okay, come on. Copy object. Okay. <laughs> what? Set Save as does this work? Okay, whatever, just... Annoying. Um, okay, I should have closed the page, like somehow it's slow. So, localhost. All right, so... Cool, so it just printed out it like, come on. It pr printed it out the wrong way. Like I need the actual values in there, man. So F12. And now it's still working. Also still working. Let's go down here. No. No, it just stops. Okay, please stop. How can I expand recursively? Like why? Come on. It's very hard currently to do two debug stuff. Okay. So like the response is still like important. Oh, alright. I got it. I got it. Oh no. Lo I don't. <laughs> Photo reduces. Wait, what? Did I change the wrong function? No. So it, it puts them to false. So that was correct. But it never updates them because it's constantly like dispatching new stuff. Okay, I think I will just re remove this one here and just say, hey, whatever, dude. What is happening? Save. Okay. Oh no, it gets laggy again. No. OK, 
Okay. Uh, that crashed again. I tried. I'm trying now to close it again and open it again. Oh man! Come on, stop it. <laughs> okay, now you're compiling again. Awesome. But still, like very slow. Woo! It worked now. Amazing. After it crashed. So we're going now to come on. I want to open up a visible group. Then we have like here our timestamp and it has all items. What the hell? Oh no, I think I know what happened. I think I know what happened. Okay, let's open Visual Studio Code. Uh, okay, let's go to package log.json. All right, so <laughs> there's a really annoying thing that I always forget about. Um, if you're trying to change out React Pick, you have to delete React Pick from the node JSON, otherwise the package.log will just remove what you did. Oh man, that's so stupid. So if we now go here and then here and then here, we will see that it has a different hash. Like that al already drove me nuts before <laughs> that. Uh, okay, so I changed this, this out. Then we will now go back to s here, go here, shut it down. All right, so let's do this. Then we have here like our, node modules and then we have to look for react pick and it's somewhere down here And then we're going to delete it. And then we will um, start it up again. And then we will just have to keep an eye on package like log.json that it downloads the right freaking version. So annoying. I think we still could change albums.action because it's like not that important. Um, so if we go and go now, oh, now it changed <laughs> the layout everywhere. No, I can't find anything with this. So date.list, auto.list. Um, Here we go. Oh, that's actions, not reducer. Did them. So we have to go down here. So I think this is still fine because like we don't have to actually do this. All right. So I think it's now up and running, basically. 
I think it's still downloading some dependencies for the front end because then it needs a bit to actually do it. Uh, let's reload. Okay, fine. That's fine. Okay, I think I can go a bit brighter again. Whoop. Nice. Okay. Is the front end running? No. It is not. It's still installing. What the hell? Hopefully it didn't crash. I think last time I just deinstalled like the whole node uh, modules folder. But it's like, th there are so many dependencies there, you know? And uh, yeah, I didn't want to <laughs> reload all of this. All right, I have to get a package. I'm back. So. Okay. I am back. Okay, so now it even installed everything, so <laughs> it wasn't too bad. So I'm now reloading and okay, so package.log.json stayed the same, which is good. We now reload. It just didn't do anything before that and it printed out like huge visible groups which made it crash I think. So let's open up network. Yeah, so we load a lot of images. Images, images, images. Now we load and a lot of different I images. Okay, that's fine. Okay, no, no, please. I don't want to load anything. No! Okay, so no timestamp. Awesome. Um, I don't see the pages yet. Um, Page two. Amazing. So now if we scroll further along, it loads the next images. I did it. It's alive. So now it, the whole thing should scale even better than before. Because now if you have like a day where you took like a million photos, it will now only load 100. And uh, I think that's very cool. Um, okay. Somehow it still takes sometimes like a second to load something, which I find very weird. Um, yeah. And like my computer is very loud, so maybe we should do some performance improvements in the future. But um, for now, I think it works fine. 
All right, awesome. Okay, or maybe not. Um, very cool, very, very cool. Okay. All right. Um, not sure what to do next. So let's go back to very big, big, very big people album. Ten K plus pictures does not load. So we added subpagination to album date. Um, we changed React Pick to only get the visible items, and um, yeah. Now we only have to add like filters for persons and merge it. And then we can replace one thing with another step by step. So I think like I still have to test it a bit more because like sometimes it still takes way too long to load. I don't know why this happens. Um, so this is weird, but maybe it loads faster in different groups. I don't know. Um, but it takes like a second to answer it. That's very weird. Um, okay, so, so maybe let's look into that because now I get a bit confused. I mean, at least, at least it loads somewhat fast. So we don't get like any warning that from Django. Okay, let's go here, um, into here. Views, serializer serpy. I think it will probably be an issue with this thing here, but I don't know why. I don't think you want all photos, you want only visible photos. That's one thing, but so that could be an issue, but yeah, I don't know. Um, so let's see if this is an issue currently. So if I'm, I can do it like up here. I do not want to see uh, so it ha should have at least two images because otherwise the whole album is just not shown. So I don't don't want to see this one. Where is my selection? Yeah, okay. Okay, hide that one. And then reload. Okay, it, it's still not there. So that's a good thing. But I'm still like a bit stumped that it takes so long to load. Like it shouldn't take a second. Count photos. Yeah, don't shouldn't take photos that are hidden. All right. Um, that's weird. That's so weird. Like. We want to like be in a range of like sub 100 milliseconds. That's like on point when it comes to speed, because this will feel responsive. But if we now go down here, and then we look at the page here.
it takes um, 700 milliseconds so nearly a second that's weird you know that's weird so I don't know if this one is behaving better yes it is so page one loads in 400 milliseconds if I go down here still 300 400 milliseconds and not 700 that's different okay two seconds like why <laughs> now I'm really confused so okay we have to look here uh, what what the hell did I do so um, This is now our album date view set and we order by date. Okay. Okay. But not sure what I'm ordering to be honest because we're only using this to um, load one album. So that's weird. And then we load the um, related, prefetch related things. Maybe we, we load always all the photos and then we just send out a chunk of that. That could be the issue. So. like right maybe i have to like add some pagination here but oh, that's also weird i don't know so um let's look into photos and we have no timestamp no timestamp photo view set and um yeah so we just have to pick photo serializer and nothing else Could also be like X of timestamp because we don't have actually any timestamps in um, no timestamp view. I'm just a bit confused why it's so slow, you know. Um, Okay, let's think this through. Why do you behave this way? So we definitely change pick album date serializer to use this one instead. And um, we also use a query here and um, I think what I will do is just put the query in here and then remove the other one I think this should be better so so this still works uh, this definitely works that we only load visible items and stuff. Um, man. Prefetch related pagination. And now my internet doesn't load. No, but at least I don't drop any frames. 
Okay, so use prefetch. Yes, here it create, cre creates another DB request to fetch category IDs. Yes, okay. Django tables too. <laughs> oh no. Why? Now I'm deep down the rabbit hole. Um, I paginate relative objects. So that's exactly what I want to do. I think there is a workaround now in Django. New version with we have auto ref and subquery. What the hell is happening, dudes? Dudes, what? Prefetch. Okay. the hell so if I remove this does it now then behave better or worse that's the question Okay, so now we get like here a pagination thing that it may be inconsistent. So how long do you take? 15 seconds now, 22 seconds. Man, amazing. Um, <laughs> okay, I want to go up here first. So let's close this. So this loads fine. And then we go to down here, still loads fine, still loads fine, still loads fine. Okay, so now we're getting into the critical thing. 1000 images and it loads in six seconds. Are you kidding me? Yeah, so no, it loads, but it's like very slow. Okay. 14 seconds, Jesus Christ. So 
So page two, pending six seconds. Yeah, that's bad. Okay, so prefetch related is definitely needed um, in order to get like somewhat of a good result. Um, but we still load every image and I want to like limit that somehow. Because like, come on, come on. So. I don't know, that's so weird. Prefetch related pagination. So, um, Quasher response time in Django query sets. That's exactly what we want to do. Let's read some article. Um, Nias reacts to <laughs> Squash response times. Okay, so where are my pages? Person object all, yes, fine. Paginator, I know that this suck, uh, that this exists. So all you did is explain that I can now use Oh god. The paginator. Amazing. All right. Um All right. I I think that in general um this um should be um everything I did today. Um, I think I will need another session where we install Django Debug Toolbar and try to find out um, what is actually happening. So why is it so slow? Maybe we have to refactor it to just return the photos or something like that. I don't know yet. Um, yeah, so fun, very, very fun. All right, um, see you next time. Uh, oh, and also like uh, the obvious thing, if you like my content, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, I'm also on GitHub sponsors. It helps me out a lot if you sponsor me. And um, yeah, spread the word, leave a comment and stuff like that. All right, see you soon.